In this video, we'll be going over structural conformation or soundness in beef cattle. We'll be breaking down structure into the front and back of the animal to help you sort through multiple characteristics. This video will provide examples of each topic to help you prepare for a contest. Looking at a beef animal, there should be a 45 degree slope to their shoulder. This correlates to the set of the knee to the animal, which should look comfortable. If there is too much slope, the animal will get weak topped. If the shoulder is too straight, the animal will be straight off their front legs and can become buck kneed. Additionally, from the front three-fourths view, animals should blend or transition from their shoulder to their foreribs smoothly. A big open shoulder is associated with calving issues or dystocia. A narrow shoulder is often correlated with a narrow made animal or light muscled. After reviewing shoulder slope, you should look at the front legs. Evaluate if there are signs of splay footing, which is toes out, or evidence of pigeon toed, which is toes in. Cattle ideally are squarely made from chest to knee to ground. After evaluation of the legs, look closer at the hooves. You want to see even size square hoof shape, depth of the heel, and the bottom of the hoof should sit flat on the ground. Give attention to the pasterns as well when looking for structural correctness. An ideal pastern is flexible yet still strong. A beef animal's rear feet from the rear view should mimic the front with hooves pointed straight ahead. Again, it is ideal for the hind legs to be squarely made from hip to hock to ground. If the hocks are close together and the hooves are turned out, this is called hocked in. If the hocks are pushed out and the hooves are turned in, this is called bow-legged. Neither of these characteristics are conducive with longevity. From the profile view, the hips should be level. An ideal hind leg has the flexibility to its hock almost in the shape of a crescent moon. If their rear leg reaches too far under them, this animal is called extra set. Or, if the rear legs are too straight, this is called straight-legged or post-legged. Like the front end, you want to see good, even-sized hooves with depth to the heel. The hoof should also sit flat on the ground with strong, flexible pasterns. After evaluation of the rear legs and feet, look at the beef animal's hip bones, or also called the hooks and pins. You want to make sure they are level. If you see a slope from either direction, this is undesirable. A level hook and pin allow for a longer rump and higher quality conformation. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other livestock judging videos as well as the Alabama Cooperative Extension YouTube channel.